This one. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should put it in cinematic mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's a way to do that. Uh... I think that just took <laughs> yeah, it just took a photo. That's what I uh, want. We just need to take a photo every time you take a movement at all. No weather. Literally none. Doesn't exist. No storm's gonna break us down now. So it's post Jurassic Park, and the idea here is that everything went as planned. That the park got approved and opened. And okay. it's rainy. I thought I, I thought you just I thought there was no weather. That's hilarious that it like instantly turn to rain as soon as you did that. Yeah. And also, not just rain, this is torrential down. <laughs> this is We're torrential down. It's <laughs> just getting broken. I just think. All in the bottom rain. That's, that's just how detailed that is. It, I, I figured there'd be an off button. <laughs> I wish there was an off button. A lot of kids have an off button. It'd be an to see fucking rain. Jurassic Park has opened, everything went well, and this is a couple years later. Jurassic Park takes place in 1989. This is a few years afterwards, so you've got the basic tour, but a few other things have been added. So this is the actual route that you take from the helicopter that they took in the movie. You may mm -hmm. remember this gate. I added a yes, little bit of stuff to it. Let's fly on through that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Ja, welcome to Jurassic Park. That's how we said it, I think. Where's the, uh... Where's the sloping land, the brontosaur? It's over there. We'll get to that. This might be a familiar sight. It might be. No, that is. That is. The seating Come area. on, the cars <laughs> even went by. Come on, that was perfect. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. 100%. When you, oh, no, when you said that, I was still, I was looking at the seating area. I was like, I, I recognize the seating area. And then you get to the actual thing. I was like, oh, yeah, of course I know that. But this is nothing anybody hasn't seen before. You know, I'm actually not sure why this tree is here. Maybe it's supposed to be there. I I, I researched it. Oh god, that's sickening. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah, maybe we want to vomit. Oh god. Almost like the lake right there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, keep don't pressing do it. my accident. <laughs> Stop okay. pressing it. We're trying to go up. As you can see, there's been some additional construction in the area. We've got. A little seating area. That is new. You're right. You do not recognize that. I was going to say. And a couple of... What do you make of these, Sean? What do you make of these? What do you make of these? Little buildings? Uh, are they massage parlors? There might be one in there. They're uh, they're like hotels. Oh, nice. Little resorts. And this is actually... Yeah. This actually does exist. Not. It doesn't look exactly like this, but this little courtyard in the movie. Amongst the things I've added to Jurassic Park. First, I'm going to come over here. Oh! <laughs> Every it time you press it, it's, it's so bad. <laughs> it is pretty bad. Like I don't even feel like I'm overreacting. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. So as you can see, I'm just going to not press that button. Okay. That's that's the ideal. Real quick, by the way, can, can you back up before you get to this thing? Did you see those two bathrooms you set right there? Yeah. Are you charging for entry like we always used to in Zoo Tycoon? <laughs> <laughs> those are great money makers. Put bathrooms everywhere and say... $10. Yeah, then people would say, they're so cheap. <laughs> they're so cheap here. Anyways. Can I, like, it? I thought we agreed not I'm to press that touching. button. <laughs> hey, we agreed. It doesn't mean I'm not going to hit it by accident. All the con controls are topsy-turvy. What we're looking at here, this towering structure, is mm -hmm. a zip line. Yep. Now, many people use these in-game to like go over a dinosaur exhibit, but this is just normal. In fact, let's ride it. So this is just a normal like jungle-type you know, zip line going through. Mm -hmm the trees and stuff. Tour shit, you know, yeah, yeah, normal stuff. Comes out over here, and what this whole area actually is, is actually a hiking trail. Because, you know, you figure tourists come. Yeah. You're, I mean, the, the island itself is beautiful. Walking through the island, everybody would want to do that. Yeah, exactly. You happen to see dinosaur along the way. Yeah, so I have a little bit more of an off-road type trail, and, we have, and a more of a path type trail, but here, you're just sort of on is the new bar and you're taking a hike. I figure this is not an attraction most people would typically put into one of these park builds because this actually does absolutely nothing to generate you income or anything. But for mm -hmm. the sake of immersion, I could totally see this being a thing. Yeah. A hike. I, a dress yeah. hike. I actually want to go over to the main area. All right, so bear with me. We're going to fly, okay? Okay. Jurassic Park. <laughs> At top speed! Jurassic Park has another entrance because not everybody's going to arrive by uh, okay. helicopter. That's ridiculous. 
So instead, they're gonna arrive off screen somewhere over there near an airport or maybe a dock. Maybe the that makes sense. east dock. They did that have a dock sense. in the movie. That makes sense. Like, how, did they get here? Maybe like a cruise ship or something. Yes, yeah, so that's the, the boundary of like where you can build, obviously. But I've put a little road that I've hidden in the entrance, and mm -hmm. we have this lovely little. It is lovely. Thank you. Little welcome to Jurassic Park moment. And this is what a lot of people would see when they first come in. Probably the fast it's, it's very resort like, for sure. Right off the bat. That's excellent that it looks resort like. That is what I was going for. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I mean, yeah. So next to their entrance, you can actually see down there is a big lagoon, which Jurassic Park did not have. It's one of the added features. Anything in said lagoon? No. Just to see. Yep. All right, fair enough. Well, I'm sure we'll have yes, time for are. dinosaurs on this. There are going to be dinosaurs on this dinosaur board, right? Yes. Let's begin by looking at <laughs> not a dinosaur. <laughs> what do we got there? Is it a mosasaur? Technically, yeah. It's a Tylosaurus. I, I've played Ark Survival at least one time. <laughs> it's got to translate somewhat. <laughs> not with accurate names, but with accurate ideas. <laughs> so it's nothing fancy, it's just kind of a normal little lagoon. You got like the Jurassic Park flags and stuff. Now, the reason I went with this, the dinosaur or other aquatic reptile species I've gone with is because they have certain importance to the lore. So it's plausible to think that that actually may have been the first aquatic species in the park, depending on what version of the lore you're looking at. Okay. Why is that? I, I read it. I don't know. Some shit. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were setting me up for a question there. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm like 60% sure that's like a legit actual thing. But anyway, here's like a little main section you get. With like a whole bunch of like, you know, you know what you're looking at. Okay, so. Food or drink. Let me get yeah. down there. Down here in the crowds, we got clothing stores, all that shit. Here's a little spa I built. Another sort of amenity that I've given extra room to. I've made this sort of like tranquil path. With a little water feature and stuff. I always love the Jurassic Park like lighting features and stuff like that. They always look. Oh yeah, yeah, these are good. Like that tropical look, but it's always like they always look nice. Yeah, yeah, they're classic. That's cool, right? That's cool, right? Thank you. Yeah, so we're gonna go through this section. So this is like I wanted a little transitionary area. I don't know if that's where transitionary, transitional, area. Tra Am I tall? Transitory. Is this what tall people feel like? I'm kind of tall. I mean, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> One inch taller than me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh. I wanted this to be kind of like, a, oh, you're walking through the jungle. Ooh, oh my god, we're like in really, we're like amongst the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. uh, that worked perfectly. Anyways, we are approaching the aviary, which is also something ah, obviously not. This will be my least favorite spot. Oh, yeah. Really. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite spots that I've built here. So here we're actually in the tour. I don't know why we're in the driver's seat, but we are. Mm -hmm. But here we go into the aviary. Now, you might not be able to hear it, but there actually is a speaker going on talking about the pterosaurs with, like, the voice of the guy from the movie, or at least it sounds like him, which I think is a good feature. That's cool. Are we sure these cars are safe for, uh, pterodons? Pterodons? Yeah. I, did, did I say that wrong? Yeah. Well, wait, what was it again? <laughs> pteranodons? Pteranodons. That, that's, yep, no, nope, yep, you're right. That's another arc thing right there. <laughs> Arc ruined my brain when it came to dinosaurs. <laughs> the yeah. thing that's cool about the aviaries in this game is that you can put down rocks and flying reptiles will actually land on the rocks. So you can put them right next to the tour track. Mm -hmm. And if we're lucky, we may end up with some really well-positioned flying reptiles. I really hope we can get some critters, but I don't think they're here. So we're actually going to go. Oh, they're all up there. What the hell? <laughs> like, this is like right below, right above. They're sleeping right above where everybody is to like watch the shit. That sucks for them. <laughs> That's inconvenient. Why are they designed <laughs> yeah. like this? It's terrible. Look at this. <laughs> Who's they? Aren't you they? <laughs> I, all I can do is put it down. There's no other way. Oh, I guess you're right. There's no way you have the viewing flat. Yeah. That being said, if you're in one of those things and you kind of look up and you see them looking down at you from like right above, where it's almost like they're on top of you because they are, <laughs> that would actually be cool. That would be cool. But you gotta be, they'd have to be looking right over the edge. That would be cool. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Another thing I've tried to do is keep everything in line with the technology that was available at the time. This is the main tour of the park, and I've made this little queue. This is a little staff area. I actually like staff areas. I think they're a cool concept. And this obviously is a bit more than Jurassic Park had, but yeah, you're going to need more people if you have more dinosaurs and staff. If it's you're true. Open. The skeleton crew in the movie. Here we can see the raptor paddock, which is still in use. Maybe not for raptors, but 
they found some use for it. There's one section left. So along this little, uh, probably under detailed path, here we are approaching a certain sign. When dinosaurs ruled the earth. They're cute. Ah, the OG. Yes. <laughs> the Parasaurolophus, which you could barely see in the original movies. Yep. In the distance mm -hmm. we have. There you go. Brachiosaurus. They have like updated models from the new movies. These are like the older models. That one I had to kind of improvise. Yes. Yeah. There is no 1993 version of the Parasaurolophus, but it looked close to that. Yeah, so this is just one small guest area, which is on the edge of the main dinosaur section. Oh, one last thing. We do have a certain famous dinosaur. Uh, did not eat a whole bunch of people during the initial tour, and now has its own dedicated area. Raptors, and they are the original 1993 models. Oh, yeah. What do you mean they didn't kill a lot of people the first one? <laughs> well, in this canon. What do you mean in this canon? Oh, this I guess, like oh, okay, park I open. This is the one where they actually lived. All right, gotcha. <laughs> no, they're fine. And now they oh. do have them in high security, but, you know, they're yep. doing okay. They're still testing the fences? A little concrete now, so... The biggest section of the park is the dinosaur tour. You have all the dinosaurs from the movies that were on the tour here. Plus a couple of others that probably would have been added. Again, referring to that loose sort of Jurassic Park canon of what InGen had mm. planned. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> so much worse. When you, go, when you go past 90 degrees, it gets so much worse. <laughs> um, there's the gate from the movie. It, it, it's the gate, it's the gate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we gotta wait for it, though. I'm trying to be welcome, but the door, door's still closed. They don't say welcome when the gate's open. Do they not? No. It says it when they see the Brachiosaurus. Oh, you're right. They say it by the Brontosaurus. But anyways, welcome to Jurassic Park. What have they got in there? A big bong? <laughs> Something worth protecting. It's a fucking gorgeous gate. In terms of design, Jurassic Park did well. It's iconic. What could be more... <clears throat> What could be more iconic? Pretty <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't know if it needs to be more <laughs> iconic. <you know. laughs> it was so scuffed. Oh, I kind of love that. <laughs> oh, god damn! Oh my god! There are going to be dinosaurs. This dinosaur door, correct? Right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you look to your right, what do you see? Uh, greenery. You are looking at the Dilophosaurus exhibit. This is canon uh, and a flawless recreation of the experience from the movie. Fuck. You're welcome. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did see the Dilophosaurus and stuff back there, by the way. Yes, we did. I saw them. They do exist. They came out for the whole theater. Here's a cool detail. I do remember those from the movie, actually. I have the tour going through a few exhibits where, like, the animals are not deadly. So this is a little Gallimimus Valley and plains and stuff. Quite a lot of them. Trodon. Not one from the movies. I, but I fucking hate Trodons. From Ark, right? This is this, this is from Ark. This is from Ark. They're the biggest piece of shit for the whole time. Look at that. You go right up against the car. That's how you know these guys are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> In Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, a dinosaur would fall asleep on the track and they would just beep at it until it panics and runs away. <laughs> just incessant beep. That's great. That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. And here, oh, what animal do we have here? A certain somebody's favorite dinosaur. Back in the day, it certainly was. As you can see, the uh, more dangerous dinosaurs are kind of isolated from the cars. That's why they're up on this hill here, so that the dinosaurs can't get close to them. That makes sense. We got something here. We got something here. We have Metriacanthosaurus, everybody's favorite. You know? From the movie? No. In text, we are now at the next exhibit. With another new dinosaur that was probably going to be added to Jurassic Park pretty early on. Is that a Baryonyx? Yes. The game audio is actually talking about Baryonyx as you're driving past. So the game actually does function as like a decent like Jurassic Park tour. Moving into the next ex exhibit, Triceratops. Yes, this is where they stopped the tour and they went down the hill to find the sick Triceratops. Ah, yes. One big pile of crap. I kind of modeled it after that. Ah, yes, these are. They're everywhere. <laughs> oh, yes, there are. <laughs> now I know it's true. Do they have flies? <laughs> I never actually looked close enough. They do have flies. Look at that. It's beautiful. They do move in herds. <laughs> That's the highlight of the tour for me. There's dinosaurs in here, right? Yeah, and here, I believe, is Comsignathus 
They're really tiny. To be they fair. are small. <laughs> but you can run normal. <laughs> you saw that, right? Yeah, you just, you just said, like, what the hell? Hold up. Wait a minute. What we have here is Herrerasaurus, which is a Triassic dinosaur, which was on InGen's list, I think. I think that's what I've been referencing this whole time for, like, the list of dinosaurs. InGen's <laughs> list. It's like a whole thing. <laughs> Every time! As we can see, we are in the exact location where the T-Rex broke through the fence. Oh my. And there's a T-Rex. There you go. There is a T-Rex experience. Oh yeah. There's the goat that would come up. The goat uh, dispenser. Mm -hmm. Which is a funny word to say. Funny goat dispenser, word. yeah. <laughs> and actually you got the toilet. It was there in the movie. It's not a perfect recreation of the movie, but I tried to get pretty close with what details I did. So most of the things that were in established places in the movie are here mm -hmm. in the park. In roughly the correct place. Yeah. We also got to think it's a, this is years later. It's possible they move things as well. And this is actually the end of the tour. We have a beautiful scene. Check that out. Wow. We do something cinematic. It's so tempting to just flip the camera sideways right then, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I, the honest question How many times have you done it on purpose? Zero. I don't Zero. believe it. I don't believe it. Look at a cute deal. Look, there's the park entrance. Do you see it? Do you see it? I do. So how long did this take to make? Good question. It took a pretty long time. This game is not very friendly to actual builders, especially if you want to put in like lots of detail. Hitboxes are a huge thing. You see, in the original Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, everything that you could build was on like a grid system, which is also similar for like Zoo Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon, those type of games. So there was never really an issue with like making things fit, like you knew where everything would go within the grid. In this game, there's no grid, there's no guideline. You just have to squeeze everything together. And it might come out okay, it might not. I think it allows for much more creativity, but it makes things take way longer. Mm. If you want to make something good, you can make it look really good, but it'll take you forever. Yeah, and that's what we got here. Yes, thank you. And as a matter of fact, this is about the only park that I've built that I can call done. And this is also the first one I made. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. I did come back a number of times to this park as updates to the game came out to add more things to it. But yeah, this is the only one I've actually managed to like confidently finish. There you go. To where it's like believable as like a full park yeah. resort type deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. That one was intentional. I know it was. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it wasn't. I keep thinking it's like, the... oh, look at this. Look at this. What do you think about this, Sean? I don't like it. <laughs> mm hmm. Drone footage at Jurassic <laughs> Park. Ooh, well, that's kind of sick, actually. Um, I'm I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is sick. I can pretend like it's a drone. <laughs> I can complete the sound effects. <laughs> You'd have crashed this drone five times over already. <laughs> You're really committed to that bit. <laughs> I think that'll be the opening. <laughs> Fair enough. Just immediately make everybody fucking sick. <laughs> this is a little look at a little park that I made. Yep. One that's fairly done, which is neat. And I may be doing more of these in the future with some of the other parks I've made. Yeah. Because Jurassic Park Evolution 3 has been announced, and I will probably never play this game again. And I put a lot of hours into this game. <laughs> hey, that was accidental. <laughs> I've given up a lead. It's where I think it should be up. I think it At should this... be up, and it's right next to <laughs> <up. laughs> but... At this point, if it is accidental, it's happened too many times for me to, to <laughs> not be angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> fair. That's fair. Uh -huh. oh, fuck. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me 45 times, do the same damn thing. I'll be <laughs> mad about it. <laughs> You know, this is going to be like the first video in a very long time. It's going to be on my main channel. People are going to fucking love it. We're a Jurassic World Evolution channel now. <laughs> We're not, by the way. 